Hey guys, uh, MJ Retro Gamer here, uh, doing a pickup video. I um, got a got a little crazy over the weekend for me, anyways. Um, so I uh, just wanted to uh, show you show you the deals I got. Uh, one of the things I use is um, the if then then uh, if then than that, uh, I believe is what it's called. Um, if you Google IFTT, check it out. What you can do is you can set up Craig, uh, you can set up different, uh, you know, scripts or uh, macros, whatever you want to call them. Uh, they call them uh, applets, I think, uh, in the in the dashboard. Um, but it, it's pretty cool because what you can do is you can have it you can create a search in Craigslist and then you can uh, have it send the search you know anytime there's a hit sent to your email so uh, that was how I got one of my pickups uh, the other one um, the another pickup I got this weekend or, or sorry last weekend was uh, uh, my son had a basketball uh, tournament in Massachusetts and where I live here on the East Coast, uh, Connecticut, there's really not a lot of um, retro gaming resources. So I figured while I was uh, out that way, I would see uh, if, if they had anything, you know, if there were any stores close by to where, uh, where my son was playing. And it so happened there was a couple. The first one, uh, you know, the guys there definitely selling at retail. Uh, on the higher end of on the high end of retail too um, you know lots of stuff in the store but you know common uh, NES games you know were eight bucks um, you know seven eight bucks which is which is definitely on the high end uh, you know for for a common sort of not really sought after uh, NES cart uh, then they had a bunch of you know Xbox and PlayStation and uh, those type of things. But right now, mainly trying to just focus on uh, the NES and uh, SNES um, and Sega. Uh, the NES uh, I had grown up and uh, never had the chance to play a lot of the games available for the system. So I'm I'm looking forward to. Uh, experiencing those games good and bad and uh, the SNES um, I did I didn't own it but my friends owned it and uh, you know I remember some of the games on there my favorite you know Final Fantasy uh, was probably one that I, I would play the most uh, but definitely played other games you know F-Zero uh, Mario so uh, and then Sega I didn't have a Sega either and I only really remember Sonic so you know I'm, I'm looking forward to playing some of the games that were on the Sega system and uh, you know seeing what that that's all about I know they had a lot of uh, arcade exports is is what they're probably uh, well known for so you know looking forward to checking that out uh, this weekend uh, I'll start with uh, the store in Massachusetts. Um, that place, the, the second store. So the first store, you know, higher prices, you know, high end of the retail. The second store, um, reasonable. You know, obviously, um, still, uh, you know, not a flea market find kind of price, but uh, very fair pricing. Um, and uh, you know it's definitely some good deals I would say so the first one I got here is um, Final Fantasy 11 which is uh, it's it's the online MMO version uh, I didn't get this to play uh, I just thought it was cool it's complete in box the uh, manual is in excellent shape um, and it has all the CDs and the, the jewel cases so uh, just something to put on the shelf. Uh, I thought the box art was pretty cool, uh, and a, a fan of the Final Fantasy series, so uh, so that's that's the first thing 
um, that I got over the weekend uh, at the Massachusetts store. The other thing that I bought while I was there was a Sega Genesis. Um, so uh, it was 40 bucks. Uh, they clean it up. It's working. Uh, this is a Gen 2 version of it. Uh, so it doesn't have the uh, headphone jack in the front with the volume control. Uh, it just has the single you know, uh, output on the back which does uh, composite red, white, and yellow. Um, they also included a controller and uh, an authentic uh, Sega power uh, block for it which you know, if, if you look on eBay, those can go for, you know, 35 bucks. So, um, I was actually surprised to see that. I, I kind of just assumed that it would be some sort of OEM uh, Chinese knockoff, and it wasn't. It was actually an authentic um, Sega uh, power adapter. So, uh, pretty happy about that. Um, I had have a bunch of games which I'll be showing in, in later episodes and uh, now I get to play them so I'm excited about that um, so that was from the Massachusetts store I uh, definitely would go back there uh, highly recommend it uh, really nice guy uh, working there uh, I think he was the owner um, but that was uh, state line video games I believe and uh, in Massachusetts uh, I can't remember what city it's in but uh, if you look that up they have a Facebook page um, and if you're around here uh, or in Massachusetts uh, definitely check them out uh, the during the week I got another IF uh, TT alert so a Craigslist alert and actually so uh, right now, or initially had just uh, alerts for the NES setup, and now I've actually added additional ones, so hopefully get alerts for SNES or, um, or the Wii. And I decided to get a Wii, because uh, I don't have one, because um, my daughter's always saying she's bored when she visits. So she's a big fan, or she used to be a big fan of the Just Dance and the other ones where you move around the Wii Sports because uh, she has a lot of energy. So I ended up getting uh, an email about you know NES stuff, and what I would do is just look through. You know, you click, it sends you a link to the actual. Um, item that met the match but then you can just go back and you can see all the other uh, things that are currently listed and I saw uh, this Wii and uh, had it 50 bucks uh, Wii Mini um, with two controllers and if you wanted to um, you pay another 25 bucks to get Zelda Skyward Sword, uh, but he also gave me four other games including uh, Zelda Twilight Princess. Uh, so it's a Wii Mini. Uh, it's in really good shape. Um, as you can see there's really you know, no scratches really. Um, you know, are there kind of uh, b marks or damage? Um, so there's that, and then uh, there's one controller, and this one actually I opened, and there is uh, there's some corrosion on here, so I'm gonna get that cleaned up. I don't know if uh, I haven't tested this, but he did. Uh, have the Wii hooked up and turned on so I know that the Wii works and I know that this controller uh, works as well and then I have a uh, one nunchuck 
for the system. So going to be in the market to get some additional accessories for that. But uh, yeah, hopefully my daughter will be happy. Um, and then for the games, it's actually the um, Skyward Sword that came with the soundtrack. And that's the soundtrack. And then you have the game. Uh, complete with the manual. Uh, and looking, you know, doing some research, it looks like the game, there was a bundle that came with the controller. Uh, so I might, yeah, I might try to get the controller just to have everything. But I haven't decided. Looking at eBay, uh, it's it's probably going to be forty or fifty bucks to get one. Which, you know, uh, I got all of this f for seventy five. I got the Wii. Uh, it came with the power adapter, power adapter, audio video, the controllers, uh, Skyward Sword, complete, Twilight Princess, and that's complete. And then Resident Evil, The Umbrella Chronicles, that's complete, and then Super Smash Brothers, which uh, complete as well. So um, all together, I, I think I got a pretty good deal on it, uh, so I'm happy with that. And... Uh, and like I said, I'll you know, probably try to get a couple more controllers for it. And uh, I don't think I'm really going to collect for it. But um, you know, definitely happy to have it and have a chance to play the, uh, the newer Zelda series. Because uh, I haven't played, em embarrassingly, I haven't played Zelda uh, since the NES. So definitely have some catching up to do. Um, Probably what was my uh, biggest or best find of the weekend was another hit from Craigslist, and uh, this was for 25 bucks. I got an NES, which I have to test. Uh, I haven't tested it yet, so I got an NES, um, which. You know, no major cracks uh, that I've found. It's uh, it's dirty, it needs some cleaning up, definitely. Uh, but I'm assuming I can get it cleaned up uh, and tested and it works, then uh, certainly a very good deal uh, at $25. Um, I have extra power adapters and all that kind of stuff. Uh, and I can replace the 72 pin uh, connector if that ends up being required. Uh, came with a with one normal uh, controller, and uh, this you know same thing, pretty scuzzy. So um, gonna have to get that cleaned up and test it. The thing what I really wanted more than anything was that it came with the Advantage controller. I've been looking to get one um, and they usually go you know 20, 25 bucks by themselves. Uh, at least the ones that I've found. Um, and I got for $25 I got the Nintendo, I got a controller, and I got the NES Advantage which looks to be in very good shape. Again you know definitely needs some cleaning. Um, but um, you know, wires aren't damaged. Um, or there's a little bit, but the shielding and everything's still there. It looks like it got melted a little, but I'll throw a little shrink wrap on it. Um, it didn't go through, so uh, you know, I'd say it's in pretty good shape. Um, so I'm excited to get that tested out. And then it also came with the quick shot. Uh, oops, let me get that. The quick shot joystick, which uh, I never used, even when I had a Nintendo. Um, 
This one, the wire is a little more damaged uh, down by the connector. So you can see the actual wire is exposed. Um, so, you know, I'll hit that with some shrink wrap too and see what happens. Get it cleaned up. If it works, great. If not, um, you know, no big deal. That was just kind of a, a bonus. Um, and then... Uh, and then the, the last thing I got, uh, my last Craigslist find was uh, the same guy I got the Nintendo from. Um, also sold, also had some games. Uh, this one, probably not as good of a deal. Probably played close to retail at least, but I figured with the price I was getting on the Nintendo, um, you know, I, I didn't want, I wasn't, I didn't mind not trying to negotiate, negotiate that one as much. Uh, so, Super Mario Duck Hunt, um, a boxed Rockin' Ball, uh, but the box is, you know, pretty beat up, uh, but the, the manual is in there, so it is complete, although uh, not in the best of shape. Um, a Three Stooges with the manual and the box, but again, the box is uh, certainly seen much better days. Uh, one and then Tetris, which uh, I've been on the look for. This one, the box is uh, better condition. Uh, it's got the manual, so it's complete with the manual. Uh, so I've been, I don't have that. Uh, so that was part of the reason I ended up going with this. Uh, another reason, Kung Fu. I uh, definitely remember this game fondly. I've been looking to get that, so that was included. Um, Silent Service, which is, you know, that's one of those where um, you can't give that game away. But, at any rate, uh, what else? Wheel of Fortune. So some family fun. Uh, also, the dust covers came included, which um, you know, there's people who sell these dust covers for ten bucks. The ones with the Nintendo logo on them, anyways. Uh, Operation Wolf, Infiltrator, which the label up there, the label on top, it's got a pretty good nick in it. Um, and I think the uh, silent service had a, a nick in the top as well. Uh, Super Mario, which I already, three, which I already have. Um, this label's got some nicks in it, but it's not too bad. I probably can't see them with this, or you should, yeah, a little bit of the S and the U there. Um, and then what else? Uh, taboo, which I think um, in the box, complete, uh, it's still worthless. Uh, I think uh, Mike and James Roll from the Angry Video Game Nerd did a video on that, and uh, it was just terrible. Uh, and then Othello, which doesn't look like it has the manual. Oh, no, sorry, it does. So, so Othello in the box. This one better than some of the other boxes, uh, but not great. And then Flying Dragon, 
this one has the box. Although the box is kind of had it. Uh, the label is in excellent shape. Makes you wonder if uh, it's a culture brain game, which um, culture brain does. Uh, Little Ninja Brothers, big fan of that game. Uh, didn't know there were other ones in that series that you know I'd like to get a hold of at some point, but they're rare, so uh, more expensive. But this is a culture brain game. I uh, haven't played it, but the label's in great shape. Uh, there is no manual for this one, um, and the box is, uh, it kind of looks like it's been through the ringer, so excited to check that out. Um, and then the last one is a, is a classic, so happy to add this to the collection. Um, Oops, sorry, RC Pro Am. So that that's a good one. Um, and I don't know if, if you remember these cases uh, from your, usually from uh, rental stores. So definitely have opened a lot of these. Um, so that's it. That are that's the pickups. Um, I'm definitely going to be doing uh, gameplay of some of the better games at least. I uh, just need to finish getting things uh, set up for recording the videos and um, and then uh, going to be doing uh, Let's Play. So please click the subscribe button to support my channel. There will be a lot more videos coming. Uh, I'm hoping to do at least uh, two videos a week at a minimum. Um, and also I can be found on Twitter at MJRetroGamer uh, and um, you know post any comments or questions or uh, suggestions uh, for videos that's all very open and um, you know unscripted and uh, have a great day thank you